اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا الحمد لله الذي أرسل الرسول بالهدى والدين الحق الذي على ديني كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد Alhamdulillah for Allah has given me this opportunity to give you a story and advice from the story. This is a story where a lot of people have gone through it and a lot of people have fall into it. <clears throat> it begins by Abu Khalil saying, I take my daughter Oh, my older daughter to hospital every other hospital but her problem is not stopping she's got ear infection and is paining her so much she says she, dad I feel like somebody is using pin inside my ears so her ear is pain so much for hours for four hours and then he relaxes so the dad took her to so many hospitals and he ended up living in one hospital. She slept there for days. So dad keeps on going in and out, in and out, in and out. The hospital and her daughter is there. So one of the day, the mother came, comes up with a, with a suggestion. Listen, we've tried all the doors and all the doors are closed. Yani medics, they cannot do anything with this girl. They are guessing Maybe this, maybe that. Why can we not try the the past was Allah, Ruqya and Qur'a, reading Qur'an on our daughter. The father thought, oh, it's a good suggestion, let's try. And then start looking and doing research. And they found somebody from out of their town, very far town. There's a Raqi there. There is a Sheikh there. It's a mother and a father and a grandmother and few of the kids live together. So the older daughter is the one who's suffering. The father and the mother decide, come on, let's go. And they are wealthy people, let's go. They've traveled to the town. They've reached the town, they book an hotel and they went to meet that so-called sheikh. When they met the sheikh, the sheikh put the daughter down there and start reading and reading and reading. Nothing is happening. So when he, he finished reading, he told the father and the mother, listen, I am going to give you this hijab or this taweez. Give your daughter, let her wear it for one month and she'll be better. And then the father looks at him and says, Are you okay? Are you all right? Are you for real? It looks like you're a fake. And the man, when he was told, It looks like you're a fake, he became angry and he told him, Get out, leave. And he paid him. His fees were 400. So he paid him and he left. He left with his daughter. They went to the hotel. They enter the hotel and the father was going to go and buy some food. So he checks his wallet. There's no money. Empty. And he had 3,000 in his pocket. So he only removed 400, remaining 2,600. He said, what is going on? All my 3,000 is gone. And he goes to the bank to want to withdraw money. He goes and put his card inside. No money in the account. Empty. He runs back to his wife and tell him, what is happening? All my money is gone. I had 3,000 to 2,600 in my pocket. I gave 500 to the fake shaitan man, sheikh, who wants to give us taweez. And now I'm left with nothing. Even my bank card, there's no money in it. The wife told him, don't worry. I have 1,000 in my pass and 700, so we can survive for a few days here and we go back to our town. We can survive for a few, yeah, we can survive. So I say, fine, they go and buy food and eat food. 
and settle down and he goes and sleep once he sleeps he start getting absolutely nightmare about that guy he's getting nightmare he's getting choked and the guy is telling him am i fake or not am i fake or not so the guy the, the abu khalil wakes up and jumps and shouts his wife says what's going on with are you okay he say i just had dream this i had a dream of the that guy who went that fake sheikh and then he goes back to sleep another dream pom he dream of that sheikh squeezing him and saying am i fake or am i for real and he wakes up screaming <laughs> and he goes back again to sleep and another dream in one night he had three dreams in a row dreaming about that fake sheikh and he squeezing him in the chest and in the neck like he's choking him asking him am i fake or for real so he wakes up and then he says that's it now I can't go to bed and it was around fajr time so he goes and makes wudu and pray salah and when he finishes pray salah he goes and have a little bit nap another dream of the fake sheikh and he wakes up he say no chance i need to go and see that guy i need to go and check who is this guy and he wakes up have his breakfast and drove off to the guy when he enters the guy starts smiling at him and then when he look at the table he sees money there and he sees a card there and when he looks closer he looks he sees it is his money and his card there disappeared and he start touching the ma- the magician because he was a magician but, but the guy didn't know he says don't touch it and he didn't touch it and he starts saying who are you and the magician tell him am i fake or for real you saw me in the dream now before him leaving his daughter told him that his eyes his her ears are okay there's no more pain in the ears and he said listen before you leave it's me who came to you in the dream and it's me who and your daughter is me who came to you in the dream to show you I'm a fake or for real and when you leave your daughter told you this 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 is and he say what are you and the guy say I'm a baraka from Allah i say you are no a baraka you're a fake magician you're dajjal you're fake magician fake 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 and from the voice of the magician a voice comes out over woman shout and get out from me and he takes his money and he goes and they didn't even stay in the hotel again they drove off back to their town they reached their town after one week the daughter started having ears pain the pain is the ears is paining so much and him the dreams never stopped of the magician he's dreaming of the magician every night that is choking him that is he for real or fake now the dream intensified intensified he start having dreams of him surrounded by loads of people who chopping meat and killing animals blood full of blood every night he start dreaming people from asia people every night he dreams of that magician and the people around him and now it was only one person in the family who was ill it was the daughter she had a ear infection now is the father the head of the family and the daughter the father is suffering because of their own hand they went to a magician now magician harmed them harmed the father because he did not agree with him now the mother of the father the grandmother looked at the situation of the family of her son 
and he says my family my son's family is deteriorating as their situation is deteriorating the only person who's standing is the few kids and the mother she suggested that son we need to leave we need to go to umrah and ask Allah to solve this problem he straight away start feeling nervous and head pain and depression and sir having was was oh don't go there is a dangerous place that the father who was absolutely sound before meeting that magician he told mom you take my kid and my do- my daughter and my wife with you just go me i'll stay here so they book they went for umrah when they went for umrah the father was there on the and the house alone and he plays quran in the house suddenly on his own in the house nobody is there and the quran turns off boom and he says what's going on he he wants to put it on no chance and suddenly he sees the magician right in front of his face and he screams ah! he collapses and he wakes up after some time but his family went to umrah and him alone day his situation deteriorated day by day fear was overwhelming when he hear a little bit movement he fears he fears his mom and his wife come back from umrah and they knock on the door he went mad thinking what is happening and when he opens his mom start going in breakdown <laughs> say oh my son look at my son few days back the way i left him they console everything because every time they are calling him he's not picking up the phone he's on his own at home the, the mother comes and sees what is going on and the wife and the children look at their father the state of their father duty hair this is state fear he fears everything and they start calling family members here and there here and there looking for solution and they found a sheikh genuine sheikh came to them and when he came he was told everything he says he says the mistake was the father going back to the magician again he should have not gone to that magician again he should have just stayed and go away so that was the mistake and he says let me start with the daughter and then i will go to the father now he started reading on the daughter reading on the daughter reading on the daughter and then jun starts speaking from her mouth reading 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 and she collapses while she collapses the father start getting fear anxiety and he start saying i'm seeing the magician i'm seeing the magician too. and he started on the father he read on the father and the father the father and he stops and he goes back and he said come back tomorrow so the next day he comes he started reading on the daughter reading on the daughter reading on the daughter reading on the daughter and his the daughter goes collapses and he goes to the father he reads on the father he reads on the father and the father abu khalil says wallahi the, the second day i felt like i'm getting conscious of my brain for 70% and my body i'm feeling more better the more i'm being read upon and then the devil starts speaking says no we're not going to leave we are here to destroy him. we will destroy him and his wife we will never leave the brother who was reading on the family he didn't stop he carry on reading he carry on reading and he turned to the daughter he carry on reading and carry on reading he go reading and the jinns from the daughter say saying we no going to leave we love her. we no going to leave we love her. and he say they turn they too steady and they say we have magic and the magic was done is her the grandmother is the one who done the magic the grandmother go surprised and the mother go surprised and say and the sheikh told him listen there's nothing there 
is trying to use his the last ticket he's got this shaitan and he said he says the magic is in the in the in the game that the mother bought for the sheikh ordered the game to be brought and the game had fake uh, random numbers it's true the, the grandmom went to buy game and the game she didn't check it the game had magic random numbers and it had needles in it and that is how the daughter got go infected by the seher so the sheikh destroyed the seher in front while reading the daughter got better remaining the father he carried on reading on the father the third day non stop and then suddenly window broke and the father collapses when he collapses the father hears the voice after a few seconds abu khalil abu khalil and he wakes up he says wallahi from that day i was absolutely sound like i was born fresh he says i made a mistake i should have done my research but i was anxious and i was desperate my daughter was suffering so much i could not hold the pain she was going through i could not hold it at all i did not have no sabr allah rabbul izza says in the quran inna al insana khuliqa halua wa masahu sharru jazua man was created in haste he does not have no patience when evil touches him he goes everywhere he wants it to be solved Now sometimes you go everywhere you go in the wrong hands just like Abu Khalil and there's so many stories out there and Abu Khalil the worst is that he was not praying but after this infliction Abu Khalil started to pray five times and muawwidhat he started doing his adhkar and everything this is a story to reflect all of you there this is a story for you to distribute it because there's a lot of people they go in the wrong hands and they come back to the right hands and they want rapid solution and these people they don't pray they don't do anything looking for solution in a dirty water you will end up swimming in a dirty water and you won't be able to come out this is the story of Abu Khalil stay tuned for more Aba Yahya from the Rukhat Talk wa akhir da'wana wa salam ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haqq